Okay, this is an attempt to explain in balance sheets um, what the Ron Paul proposal is, uh, so far as I understand it, and what its likely effect would be if we were ever to do it. Um, I'm showing the Treasury as uh, owing uh, $1.6 trillion to the Fed here. The Fed has hold $1.6 trillion worth of Treasury securities. And the proposal, so far as I understand it, is simply to uh, for the Fed to forgive that. That leaves an extra $1.6 trillion that the Treasury can borrow in order to reach up to the uh, Fed, the, the debt limit. Um, that's sort of the idea. The question that is interesting to me um, is what is the effect on the Fed? Now, you can see here that by eliminating $1.6 trillion worth of its assets, the Fed is now technically uh, insolvent. Um, it has 2.8 trillion dollars worth of liabilities and only 1.2 trillion dollars worth of assets. Um, and uh, that could worry you if you were a holder of these reserves um, or a holder of this cash here. If the Fed were an ordinary bank, it would be insolvent. What I argue in the post is that the Fed is not an ordinary bank, that the Fed is too big to fail, that we should think of the Fed as being backed by the Treasury, even if it doesn't hold um, explicit Treasury securities. Since it is backed by the, by the Treasury, uh, we should, it's better that it be explicit than be implicit. That's the main point that I'm making, and that's why I think this is a gimmick that is a backward step in transparency.